Welcome to Weld.com. A viewer asked about running 532nd 7018 on pipe. Didn't specify position. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm answering his question. I have a couple questions for him, but uh, we have uh, we've started this. This is 10 inch heavy wall, half inch wall thickness. I have done a TIG route. I did a fill pass with TIG. I started coming in with the uh, eighth inch 7018 and filled it up to a point where I'm about 332nd or an eighth inch below cap. So now I want to run, I'm going to finish this with 7018, 532nd. Uh, I'm going to be running 135 amps off the uh, ESOB Rebel 215. We are, there's a couple of things here. I, I guess the question I have for the viewer is, do you want a single weave or are we doing multiple stringers? I know there's a lot of discussion about uh, what's accepted in the field, how wide of a weave do you just actually get away with. Uh, I know a lot of companies like multiple stringer beads are stronger. Uh, I've tested both, I've been tested both, I've x-rayed both, hardly any difference. So uh, I think we just want to show both. Uh, we're going to come in here, first thing we're going to do is weave part of this, probably a full rod, and and we'll come back and we'll do a two bead cap as well. Again, 532nd, 7018 on pipe. Let me get my safety glasses and my gear on. I'll be right back. A couple of things to note here. I could be doing a real slow weave and holding the toes of my weld but I'm doing this a little quicker back and forth to keep the entire pool molten. Quite a bit to fill here, but Trying to stay just inside the beveled edge. Pause long enough to uh, tie into the bevel face, toe of the weld. In this section of pipe, I'm going to do a two bead fill here. First one, I'm just watching this edge, very little side to side movement. Just trying to watch the edge of that weld on, on the toe and make a consistent height up through here to get above the pipe surface.
as we progress up the pipe, we want to try to hold the same arc length plus rotate the rod toward the center of the pipe at all times. I don't like to use a big leading angle as I've had better luck going right straight into the center of the pipe. Now this bead here, I'm going to have to weave just a little bit more. I'm trying to blend the highest part of the first bead. Still catch that edge away from me over there on the toe of the weld. could have done better if I had filled this just a little bit more. I'm kind of waiting on this too long, but looks to be going in okay so far. <clears throat> and we get a little more slag peel here, which is good. We have our uh, weld done here. This is 10 inch heavy wall. And uh, we ran 532nd. I did a TIG root. I did 8th inch fills and cat or fills all the way up to about uh, 332nd to an 8th inch. And then we ran 532nd. Little weave part down here. Uh, I got just a little squirrely and a little bit low here. It's still above the pipe surface and it blends in, no porosity. I uh, could make a little better transition. And then obviously we've got where we tr went into the two bead uh, cap here. Uh, we got a little heavy on this part here. I would dress that up a little bit. If I ran this whole thing out with uh, a two bead cap, it probably, you know, it wouldn't show that transition like that. In any event, uh, I hope this satisfies the viewer that asked for 532nd. 7018 on pipe. Again, we didn't get into what position or anything, so we just ran this in 5G. So I hope this helps. Appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the videos. Bob Moffat, Weld.com.